Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to work with the polygon data type. It is a data type that can represent a two-dimensional shape on the map that consists of a collection of line strings where each line string is essentially a shape that consists of multiple points. Uh, it may sound confusing but I will demonstrate it in a second then it will become super clear of what I'm talking about. I'm switching to the data screen in my Canvas console and here I have imported uh, a database that contains a table called World Wonders. And as the name suggests, these are the modern wonders of the world. There is a column uh, called LOC which stands for location, the data type is point, and these are the central points of any one of these wonders of the world. If we click visualize we can see exactly where these wonders of the world are on the map. So for instance if we were to go to the Colosseum, uh, you can see this is the record for the Colosseum in Rome. Uh, clicking on this icon finds it on the map and we can zoom out and we will see that this is indeed the Colosseum. Uh, the subject of this video is the polygon data type. So let's uh, define a new column and in that column it's going to store polygons and we will be storing shapes of these wonders of the world right on the map. To define the polygon data type I'm switching to the schema uh, tab of uh, the data screen and I will create a new column that will be called shape and the data type is going to be polygon. Click create. So now we have a column called shape and let's go back to data browser and as you can see this is the the shape column that would be that will be storing the polygon values. So going back to the Colosseum which is the second row right here we can click on this icon which opens up the geometry editor and in here we can start defining the actual shape that will be representing our value. So since this is the shape uh, for the Colosseum, I'm zooming in on Rome and uh, very soon we will have it somewhere in our map view. So let's just look around and see where uh, the Colosseum is. Here's the Colosseum. It sounds like it's going to be somewhere here. So let's continue zooming in. So there you go. Here's the Colosseum. And now we can define the actual shape. Defining a shape uh, in the Canvas console using this map input is actually very easy. What we need to do is just start clicking on the boundaries of the shape and uh, creating the individual points. It's not going to be super accurate, but I still want to demonstrate how this will work. And as soon as you get to the closed shape, the polygon is created and these are the coordinates of our polygon and now at the bottom there is a save button click save and now we have this polygon that uh, represents the shape of the Colosseum so I will disable visualize here just so we have only one set and in here we can click find on map and there you go we have this shape that is a polygon that represents the shape of the Colosseum so as you can see this is quite straightforward uh, especially using Backendless Console. It is not the only way. You can do exactly the same thing using uh, APIs. You can create shapes, you can modify them, you can delete them, you can run searches, so you can find all the shapes within a particular boundary. So there are plenty of things that you can do with them, but here I just wanted to focus on creating a polygon using Backendless Console, starting from the point when we actually created a column of type of polygon. I hope you found this useful. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.